Hi, this is Paul from Trainworks. I'm going to show you in this tutorial how to swap engines in an existing scenario. First thing we're going to do is go into the scenario editor and edit the scenario that we want to change. Okay, we are in one of the scenarios I made a long time ago for Swiss Fantasyland. All the trains are directly from SBB Route 1 and what I'm gonna do now is swap the engine, uh, the driver engine, which is the little diesel one, for one of my uh, RE420s. So the first thing we will uh, do is um, uh, look at that engine, and which is the player one, which obviously is the red one, which is the diesel engine, and it has all the uh, the scenario parts active. Uh, we're gonna activate the train that we want to put in. So we're gonna go to Creative Works and we're gonna choose the RE420 pack. Activate that and then in the list on the left on the trains you will see the RE420s in the list. We're gonna pick the one that we want to use to do this scenario and we're gonna put it on the track just in front or behind the existing one. Normally you would put it just in front if you have wagons uh, because that makes it a bit easier. Right now I can put it just behind it uh, because that, for now that's, that's okay too. So it's very simple because what you do now is you pick up the driver icon and you drag it onto the new train. It will then take the whole scenario, uh, all the things that we want to do and, uh, and, and move it to the other train. We, we remove the diesel one uh, move the train that we want to drive to the right position which is not critical here but okay we can do that and right now actually we're done this is what's needed to uh, to swap uh, an engine um, if we start up the scenario we can now see that everything is uh, the same as with the, the diesel engine uh, only with this new RE420 um, we can we will we'll, run it a little while you can see the pop-ups coming up everything is still the same there are a couple of things that are important uh, obviously you cannot drive an electric train on um, a piece of track with no overhead wires uh, so it won't work if you do coupling uh, the numbering of the trains is important that it has numbers so that it knows where to couple there are some things that you uh, that make it more difficult to do this swap but in 99% of the cases it's just as easy as it is. The timing of the scenario can be a little bit different so please check all the, uh, the timings if you do a timetable scenario but, uh, but you should be okay. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching.